Hey, what is up guys? Gita Rock here. Welcome back to another Brown Dust video. Alright, so I've been wanting to basically prepare for the upcoming meta. So Kauli and Dalvi is going to be huge once they receive their plus 15 if you guys did not follow the meta in the Korean server. So ideally, if you have Kauli and if you have Dalvi, it's time to try and try your best to build them. You know, they won't be here for a while but definitely you want to try and you know spare some rank up stars and awakening crystals for them so let's go with the rank up Kauli right here I have a feeling she's gonna be like really useful in world boss as well so let's see if I have enough slimes right here I do have plenty of blue slimes so we're gonna consume the red ones first and then we're gonna go with one two three so ideally Give me a great success! Some sort of success! Of course. Of course it has to be a letdown. I'm almost there. Level 80. Success. Give me some success. Come on. Look at that. 9.3k HP already. That is insane. That is really insane. So let's stop here. Let's see if I can get some sort of success. Come on. Can I get 10k HP without any runes? Like now I'm curious, right? So this looks like it's doable. Just gonna use some yellow slimes as opposed to the pink one. Come on. Wait, it's 85. Okay, so it's 85. I always thought it was always 80. I always thought that it stops at 80. My bad. Let's go. Let's go further. Take one more now. I think we're good for now. Let's use the emerald slime instead. One, two, three. Yeah, definitely I'll be able to get 10k. Look at that. Easily 10k HP without any runes. That is insane, man. That for you, for any mercenary to actually get there, 10k HP without any runes right now. Oh, finally you want to give me a freaking ultra success. Finally! Like all the way at the end, you have to give me something. Like what happened to all those? Never mind. Yeah, it's really it's really triggering sometimes. Okay, so let's awaken her. So since I have all of this, we can awaken her and let's see. Do I have enough crystals? Yes, I do. Five hundred and six hundred, more than enough it seems like. So Kauli awaken. So I'm just gonna wait for the meta where she will actually get the plus 15 and I believe all her skills will get reworked as well so weakening counter I believe this skill will be removed they will definitely remove this skill and they will change the healing to something else I think but yeah this skill will definitely be removed she will become more OP later on alright so I do have enough to skill up actually wait 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 a minute alright so go under lock there's one Kauli one spare Kauli that I do not need so let's just use that for skill up what does this do 10% 15% all right pretty strong you don't get the taunt until like plus six or something yeah which is which makes her kind of uh, in skill book heavy if you want to try to invest in her right now but ideally as it is I'm pretty sure you can I uh, use her no problem in the world boss and things like that. Now where is she? What? Alright, there she is. Okay, so rune. I do have plenty of good uh, vital runes. So let's see if I can find something with percent. So ideally you want to give her like a percentage based rune. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is insane. That is insane. Okay, so so far one... I believe I have some good ones right here. 43%. 43%, alright. 22,000 HP! Yeah, the reward will make her even crazier. She gets like what? 70,000 HP or something? Or even more? But as it is, Kauli definitely. Uh, she's not going to be that useful outside of World Boss if you're trying to use her in the Terion. And I believe the, what's the other one? Zaratan. She's gonna be good there. Good and usable. But in PvP, I wouldn't recommend it. At least not yet. Until 
she receives the plus 15 rework. Alright, today's topic is gonna be all about Valfern. So a lot of you guys, lots of you guys have been asking me, Valfern, is he worth investing? ETC, ETC, worth recruiting? So it's not uh it's not an easy straight direct answer, but I do have one battle that perhaps can convince you guys, maybe, to consider recruiting another legendary. So right here I am fighting Ah uh, I can't pronounce this guy's name. Ah. Uh, Mictlantekutul. Okay, so this is a user. A very interesting formation right here. A plus 10 Lacklist. And then we have a plus 10 Walia, plus 10 Aaron, 7 Mamonair, Cecilia plus 14, Aindolin. So that's the combo right there. We have Venaka and a Rydal. Alright, so. So right now we can notice that there are three supporters, right? Oh yeah, and there's Velfern plus 10, of course. So that's the highlight right here. The highlight, Valfern plus 10. Look at these soul gears. Back, cloak, crystal of truth. A bunch of investment needed right there. Plenty of ancient coins and two good runes. So 50.22% assault rune. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. 50% assault runes are not like the best best, but it's pretty, up, pretty high up there. Alright, and then we have one more at... 48.3% so this is a 5 star legend plus assault rune so why is this a, a factor right what's to consider when you're building Valfern and should you still go for him I'm gonna show you guys in this battle we can both observe together uh, I've already fought this guy earlier today in case you guys are wondering yeah so both of us are using Aindolin I'm gonna reduce the speed to one times so you guys can actually observe a plus 10 Valfern. What potential does he have? Okay, so obviously I'm moving first, I'm attacking. So Aaron is going to immediately disappear because Asmut, right? So Dwen gets distracted, but all my buffs are removed. I mean, not all, but some of the buffs removed because Lacklist. Wait, why is this buff here? Don't Lacklist has these stats? Curse nullifier thing. Okay, so got rid of Lacklis. Cecilia hitting my Cecilia, no problem. So my Livia will weaken that Memonir. So here's the thing. Look at this Velvet. Boom! Okay. That is a double buff. Alright, so we're talking about double buff Velvet. She has buffs from Walia and Venaka. Alright, she's not he's not able to get rid of my Cecilia. That is fine, no problem. It's to be expected there's not much graves on like the play the field just yet, the arena. So let's just wait for a bit more. Let Asmode eliminate. Boom, let's get rid of this Walia. That's the objective right here. Walia, Venaka, and Velfen. So Walia and Venaka, two of the stronger supporters. Alright, so insane buff that they can provide. Look at that. I can't believe my Wilhelmina did no damage. Boom. Okay, so look at this. Walia's buff still there. And Velfen was unable to get rid of my Cecilia. So a lot of things that you have to consider right here, right? So I'm going to try and replay that again and this time I'm going to slowly tone it down We're just going to fast forward to that particular part where the Velfern try and hit Cecilia Okay, so that is once where Velfern actually was unable to one hit KO my Cecilia But it's okay, it's to be expected Since Cecilia is really really strong, especially Cecilia to Endolin combo can be really really annoying. Cecilia, on her own, she already has like insanely high amount of damage reduction. So paired with Endolin, so that's just gonna make everything crazy. So this is a second attempt. Uh, soon, you're gonna see that Velfern trying to one-shot uh, Cecilia again. Okay, so right here. Ideally, this is not like the most amount of graves, understandably, but 
I feel like this is a pretty moderate amount of graves right here. And with this amount of graves, Valfon was still not able to uh, basically eliminate my Cecilia. Which can be a huge problem if you're trying to use or pick a Valfon. Now, I'm not saying Valfon is bad. I'm not saying that you shouldn't go for Valfon anymore. Like, in a way, yes, I'm saying it in a way that you might want to wait for a bit if you are looking to invest in a good legendary. Valfen might not have the the firing power, the capability anymore to try and uh, one-shot Cecilia. Uh, Cecilia is one of the best tanks right now, so you're going to see her a lot. And once Kauli comes up, uh, which is why the reason I sort of segmented Kauli in the beginning of the video, uh, Kauli's meta is going to be even more insane, right? Kauli is going to be much tankier than the Cecilia. She's going to have more HP and Velfen is definitely not going to be able to kill her. So once Cecilia, so once you climb the ranks, Cecilia and Kauli, this is something that you're going to see everywhere. So is it worth going for Velfen right now? The answer is, it depends, all right? But it's hard, it's really hard to recommend. Ideally, I wouldn't recommend going for Velfen like as your like first pick for a legendary right now, maybe Mamone is better, but then again, she needs uh, runes. The problem with Valfern is that if you want to pick him, you have to pick him for other reasons besides PvP. If you are using him solely for PvP and you think that you can climb the ranks, uh, I know there's plenty of experienced players that will tell you otherwise, that will tell you, oh, just get Valfern, he's gonna help you to climb. And yes, that used to be the case. If you're in silver rank, getting Valfen might bring you up to gold. That used to be a case before Cecilia, all right? So that meta has now changed. And with these changes, like I've just demonstrated to you guys and I've shown you guys that, you know, Valfen struggles to get rid of Cecilia. And whether you like it or not, mine is not even maxed out plus 15. Mine is just a plus 14. And that was a plus 10 Valfen with two I wouldn't say the best, but that's pretty decent runes right there. And decent amount of graves as well. And that was a complete struggle. So, going like all the way for plus 10 Velfen, I don't think it's worth it anymore. So here's my advice to you guys. If you're new to the game, do not pick Velfen. Just try and avoid picking Velfen for the time being. Until he receives like a much better update. If you're looking to pick him up, for other purposes other than the arena, let's say you want to use Velfen in Evil Castle, or maybe the Underground Arena, or maybe Guild Wars, then maybe he's not such a bad pick. But if you are just looking for arena specifically, the PvP, uh, meta does not favor him anymore. And once Kauli comes up, it's going to get worse from there. Definitely going to get worse from there. Now, is there any way to make Velfen work in any team? Yes, there is. Like. If you know how, if you have Livia, like that's probably your best bet to try and use Livia to Velfen combo. So ideally, with Cecilia Taunt being a thing, Livia eliminating Cecilia first, and then Velfen moves next. But that means that you will have to basically use two uh, Magicians, and it might be worth it if you have a strong Livia for sure. Uh, she's going to help you to eliminate Cecilia, or maybe Kauli in the future. But definitely, it's going to be a huge problem if you are just using Velfen on his own. Like going for the Livia combo is probably your best bet in trying to uh, make Velfen still work. But the investment needed to get him to work is kind of high if you ask me. Like getting Velfen to plus 10, like it doesn't just, it just doesn't seem like a compelling value anymore. Like you're wasting a bunch of ancient coins just to get the legend skill books. 10 legend skill books to be exact and of course getting the soul gear as well that's not going to be cheap uh, that's just a little bit too much of an investment so yeah just my thoughts let me know what you guys think I do think that Velfen uh, is going to slowly fall off the meta like it takes a while but right now there's just too many Velfens in the arena and sooner or later most players are going to realize that he just doesn't cut it anymore. Like, I'm sad to say, at least in the arena. Like, I'm just talking about arena specifically. If you're using Valfen in Guild Wars, he still can work, I'm pretty sure. Same goes for Underground Arena as well. 
So let's see, yeah, currently in Asia server, Velfen is at 59%. He did drop slightly. Two weeks ago, I, I'm i pretty sure he was at 65 to 67. So definitely a slight drop. And I'm going to expect this trend to continue, like Velfen to continue dropping in the future. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.